ladies and gentlemen, the memorial and the, and the Michigan milestone marker. A plaque is unveiled in the heart of Ferndale, marking one of the ugliest crimes in the metro area's history, but also marking the changes made because of it. It was in the summer of 1982 outside a strip club in Highland Park when two laid-off auto workers chased down Vincent Chin and beat him to death with a baseball bat blaming Chin for problems in the auto industry. Vincent Chin was Chinese-American, an innocent victim of ignorance and racism. We were set to go to his wedding when we heard of the beating. It was, it was horrific. A friend who was with Chin that night remembers him. Never should have gotten to that point. We got separated and uh, we were trying to find him, but uh, the killers found him first. Ronald Ebens and his stepson Michael Nitz were convicted of manslaughter, but the judge let them off on probation. The Asian community was so outraged, they joined together and demanded the killers be held accountable. Such a light sentence for such a vicious crime was a shocking wake-up call to Asian Americans of all ethnicities who suddenly realized the brutal consequences of the all Asians look alike stereotype and anti-Asian slurs. This could have happened to any of us. Ebens and Nitz were eventually found liable in civil court for Vincent Chin's death. Vincent Chin was actually killed in Highland Park, but Ferndale was chosen as the location for the plaque because this is where Vincent Chin worked as a waiter on the weekends and also where other people joined together to work for change. In Ferndale, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News.